Hey, it's Keith Townsend, principal of the CTO Advisor. Is HPE out of its element? I like to play on words. The HPE logo, the element, predates their current CEO, Antonio Neary. Uh, HPE discovered 2020 digital event has been a really interesting eye opener and the difference between HPE pre Antonio Neri and HPE now with Antonio Neri. I'm not saying this just because HPE CEO sent us a cup of coffee uh, yesterday. I appreciate the coffee on Antonio, but more about the change in the industry. We hear this consistent hybrid infrastructure theme throughout every enterprise IT vendor we talked to. In the look back at 2019, I talked about how 2019 was the year of hybrid infrastructure and how every major provider has acknowledged that hybrid infrastructure is here to stay. HPE, private data center company, but they're a private data center company that needs to extend out into services and software to be able to have that end-to-end -end solution. We've talked about Dell's, Dell EMC's, Dell Technologies cloud solution, et cetera. What is the alternative for HPE? They don't have a massive VMware as a part of the HPE fabric to move on. So what is a company like HPE to do? Well, they did the only thing they could do. They built a new software company. We're not talking about HP software from the autonomy days. We're talking about a ground up through acquisitions, uh, uh, Blue Data, I believe was the name of the, the firm they acquired for the software know-how to build a strategy around Kubernetes. You guys know I'm not a huge Kubernetes fan in the sense that it should be something that you, the CTO advisor client, should necessarily care about, but companies like HPE, Amazon, VMware, et cetera, should care about Kubernetes. They need to make this thing a seamless piece in the background. And that's what HPE is aiming to do in 2020, to use Kubernetes as the foundation for their GreenLink as a service, for you to be able to go to a portal, provision a virtual machine, provision storage, provision physical infrastructure that needs to be on premises or in your private uh, colo in order to take advantage of this hybrid infrastructure. This has been something that HPE has strived to do, oh, easily pre-Antonio Neri. The question is, has Antonio created the culture and the investment in R&D to actually execute on this very, very, very difficult and ambitious problem. Uh, I, I, and talking to Antonio in analyst sessions, uh, the CTO advisor is, a, is on the uh, independent console of analysts, uh, which is a paid engagement. We uh, have probed HPE a lot on this issue. One, why are they even getting into the software business? They haven't done it uh, well in the past. What's up with all these, what seem like edge type acquisitions? Uh, the, they're getting into HP, heavily into uh, HPC, et cetera. What is HPE becoming? If you're an HPE customer or prospect, I highly recommend that you talk to Antonio if you have the opportunity to. They he knows from end to end how each one of these puzzles fits into their strategy, at least the desire to. Now, let's talk about the maturity of the technology. A lot of today's announcements was basically on paper. This is what it looks like. Where are they at in the journey to deliver this hybrid cloud infrastructure? The next couple of days will tell. 
I can't imagine HPE got very far because this is, you know, this is, uh, uh, last year around this time, I was probing them about the software interface to GreenLake and it was still on paper. So I will like to see some of the sessions throughout Discover on uh, just practically, how do I use this? How do I give it, give developers access to it? Uh, is this a developer facing solution, et cetera, et cetera. Tune in to the CTO Advisor channels, whether it's on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, or thectoadvisor.com to find out more about the journey HPE has embarked on. Talk to you next CTO Dose.